And welcome back to Red Dead Redemption 2. This is Ash Owen Gaming. I hope everybody is well and I hope you are keeping yourself safe. Right. I'm gonna go into this mission over here. Yeah. So tell me, is your people uh Jacobites or English lovers are there? My people were peasants. We had no time for politics. My dad would say that no politics was politics. That old world bullshit, it ain't got no place here. Why? Because there ain't no judgment here. Most folks hate the Negroes, they hate the Redskins, the Jews, even us Irish. <laughs> you ain't so free of politics. I hate everyone, just the same. Well, in that case, you're gonna want what I just found for us. What's that? I was riding around a couple of days back. I come across this old cabin. A couple of fuckers lazing about outside all liquored up. <laughs> I didn't think nothing of it. But then I come across this hunter down by the river. He tells me they're a stick-up crew. Says they hit a train a couple of days back near Emerald Ranch. Nice fella he was. Shared a bottle we did. Then I robbed the bastard blind. <laughs> and you believed him? No reason not to. If he's right, it'll be a big haul for us. I saw three of them. Maybe more. But I reckon you and me, we could take them real easy. What the hell? Let's go check it out. <laughs> Damn sons of bitches. Think they're mean? <laughs> they're about to get a lesson in mean. Oh, God. You just keep your cool, you hear me? He goes this food. Yep. Well, let's go make some money. All right, let's do this. Stay behind him. I'm gonna get a. Uh, who is it? Where's that torch come? How far is this place? It's a bit of a ride, not too bad. Not sure Back where our lamp is. Not far from the state line. Get a sniper out as well, actually. So, what were you doing riding around up there anyway? Sniffing around, looking for a take. I got a lot of nose for these things. Dutch has always honored us to get out there and bring in money, ain't he? And rightly so. I ain't like some of them others back there, sitting around waiting to be told I go after it. I see you sitting around plenty. I mean, I don't need no coddling like the rest. Look out. Dutch knows my value to the cause. As from the moment I met him. You tried to kill him, if I remember the story right. And he kept me around, didn't he? He saw something in me. He said as much. I'm sure. <laughs> Dutch is good at seeing things in people. And while we're talking about money, you are clear on how this works. We split half, other half goes to the gang. Dutch keeps all our savings hidden in a safe spot outside camp. Yeah, yeah, I know. How many times do you have to tell me? Well, what's that box by his tent for then? Camp funds, supplies and the like. <laughs> in fact, you don't know that suggests you clearly ain't put much in it. I know it anyway, <laughs> don't you worry. You're sure you scoped this place out right? This is gonna be bad, I think. Um, let's get that gun yes. ready. See? That's why I wanted you along for this. You're still a doubter. I ain't just some dumb kid. I've lived a lifetime of shit already. And you sure don't keep it bottled up inside. What about that train job with the oil wagon? Made a good show in there, didn't I? You got knocked out. <laughs> ah, that's what you choose to remember. We got paid. We got out of there. Got knocked out in Blackwater, too, didn't you? <laughs> now that was bloody chaos. Did you get split off, Mac? Nope. Didn't see him. We lost your boys at some point when he was getting out of town. They caught up with Mac a couple of days after. 
Davy was finished by the time we got up the mountains. Jenny didn't even make it that far. Hog's bounty hunter strung me up, beat me, pulled teeth, burned me feet. I didn't breathe a word about nothing, I swear. Good. And it's time folks stop giving Dutch a hard time about all that Blackwater business, if you ask me. Man's not a fortune teller. You can plan, you can use your head. You never really know what you're walking into. Yep. Folks always want to blame someone when things go wrong. How far is it now? Not too much, Porter. Better be worth it. All right. That'll have to wait. We're nearly there. Hard left coming up. This better not be a trap. Well, they know that someone's going to rob him though after he robbed the other guy. Up here, Morgan. Keep one of them alive to tell us where they stashed the money. Hope you know what you're doing. Does he know what he's doing though? Ah, there it is. Look. There's one of them outside. This is good. It is. Leave it to me. I'll do the talking. You hang back. So I gotta follow him. I thought I had to sneak. Won't they remember him? This is not good. Hey there! Whoa! I'm gonna give you and your oh. dad here about five seconds to get the hell off my property, boy. Uh, look, we don't want no trouble. We just thought you might like to know we passed a big posse alarm and headed this way. There were a dozen of them coming up east. What? Where? Right here. Heads up, Arthur! Best of them! You'll tell me where that money stashed. Well, all right, all right, take it easy. Behind the, the wall in the bedrooms, if you stick your hand between the gap. All right, you go grab the money. I'll keep an eye on sunshine here. You know what? Just get the hell out of here and don't look back. You see what else you can find, Sean. Told you we take no problem, didn't I? You did good. Let's see what the pay is first. Took this so far by myself. A proper lead. All right, all right. You heard him, right? He said the stash was behind a loose board in the bedroom. This is more. 
more like it. Good work. Hey, what about my car? I found a place, didn't I? All right, here. But don't forget to give the camp its share. Supplies don't appear by magic, you know. All right, don't need to lecture again. I'll see you back at camp. Never know what folks got stashed. <laughs> Just gotta be other places out there like this. That's easy enough, ain't it? See what's next. We've got a question mark there. And we've got that mission still. Dutch. Let's go back to camp. I like how the game transitions the light. It's nice. It's getting lighter now, obviously, as it gets earlier in the day. We robbed the homestead, which was obviously night time. At least we know we can make money that way. I wonder if I can earn enough to be able to upgrade the camp even more. I'll get something for the horses. I want to pay my debts off though. We got a couple of towns after me. Disturbing the peace, I didn't do anything. Oh, that's ridiculous. I can pay the bounty off. Crime reported. Right. Camp fund six thirty five. Collect some money. Ah, Herr Morgan. Herr Strauss. 
How are you enjoying yourself here? Well enough, I guess. And you? Well, it turns out the pursuit of freedom is not a cheap business. Not for us, and not for some of the locals. Sharking already? I prefer to call it banking. You ain't the one handing out the beatings. No, but I am the one feeding the women and children in the camp. What choice do we have, Mr. Morgan? Uh, I don't know. Well, come on, then. Tell me who. Here's the list. Refinery worker turned hunter by the name of Vinton Holmes. You'll find him up in the hills north of Strawberry. Ah, an apprentice undertaker. This one working in rows. His name was Gwen Hughes. And how many of them do you think will be able to pay? <laughs> With enough encouragement, both of them. 